Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the various joint connections associated with building your automata. So I have the vast majority of my pieces pulled into my model already. I'm going to pull in one more to show you how I did it and uh, show you the basics about, uh, I just tried to get them roughly in position and then we're going to start adding and assembling everything together. So I have my top, bottom, left, right, back, my axle, my crank, my two cams, I have my guides, my followers, but only one roller. So I'm going to pull in one more roller, and then we're going to get started. So I'm going to pull that in. It's going to appear wherever it does, wherever it was created. So it's over here. I'm going to kind of pull it with the, I just use the arrow keys associated with it, get it kind of in position. But you'll notice that it is rotated the wrong way. Um, this one here is rotated in this direction so that it can lay on the cams, and this one is offset by 90 degrees. So what I'll do is I will take that little axis there, uh, you can see the value over here to my right, right here, 90 degrees. So I know that I have it all lined up properly. Uh, so I am going to say that that's good. And I'll say OK. And I'll place it right there. So now we have all of our components. Um, I like to take the bottom and I'm going to ground that. So if I come over here, all my all my individual components were built. Uh, and then I converted them. All my different uh, bodies were built. And then I converted them into components and dropped and dragged them in like that. So under the bottom, I'm going to ground this piece so that it's stuck there. That way, as I try to move it, nothing happens. I can move all of these things on the fly. But this one is here, so that'll, oops, why did I move it? All right, must be the new one. Anyways, um, it's grounded. I don't know. We're just going to roll with it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start assembling these pieces. So I'm going to come under Assemble and Joint. Uh, I'm going to verify motion. I want most of them to be rigid, so I'm going to go ahead and that's good. I'm going to come in. I want the back of the back piece, this portion right here, to be lined up with that portion right there. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to move my cursor along the axis. You see how this is, uh, that little circle right here is perpendicular, not flat like that. That'll be a whole different joint connection, but it's like this. So I'm going to go to the center, and it's going to lock in on my my center point. So I have that portion. I'm going to grab this axis right here. Move this out of the way. Scroll along there until I hit the center. Click it, and it should lock into place. If everything looks good, click OK. Uh, go ahead and do the sides. It's going to be the same methodology. Go to joint. Slide along there to get to center. Slide along here where you want it to get to center. Click OK. Same thing over here. Joint. Slide along that axis. You zoom in. If you can't see a good zoom in, make sure that you have the right axis, the right piece. So I want that to be my outside there. And it's going to be touching on to the, it's going to be mated with this portion right there. Looks good. Click OK. So we have most of our box. Let's slap the top on. Same methodology. Joint, fixed, slide along this bottom piece here where it's going to join up. And slide along the top here. It's also going to join up. All right, so we should have our box assembled. Everything looks pretty reasonable. Let's go ahead and put the guides on top. The guides, I also want those to be joints. I'm going to say fixed. So what I do is I grab the bottom of one of those. Let me grab the circle. I want to place it at too. Box into place. Do the same thing with the other one. Joint. Good. All right, now we want to, uh, let's go ahead and hit our rollers. So I also want to lock those on with a joint mechanism. So I grab the bottom of the of the hole in here. So here's the top. Here's the bottom. I want to grab that one. Grab the bottom of this. And it looks like I do not have it right. So we're going to hit cancel. Try that again. Assemble the joint. Try the cylinder this time. We'll see if that works out better. Grab that end piece. Grab 
Zoom out, make sure I'm still configured right. Looks right. So we go again. The other one, joint. Cylinder in the last one, and I grab that there. Looks good. Okay, I have those in. Now I'm going to go and uh, put these into here. So let's do that. So I want to, um, I don't want to fix them. Those have to be able to move. So we're going to go back to joint. Center motion. I'm going to figure out what motion. So I actually want them to slide up and down. So I'm going to grab slider. Provision. Grab this. Grab some portion in here. Let's see if I can get that cylinder. Hit OK. Now we're going to see if that worked out all right for us. So we are going to open up our joints. We're going to see that slider. I'm going to actually rename that. And I'm going to say right. So we're going to check that motion. So we're going to animate the joint. Slides up and down. Hit escape. Now if I were to, because that roller is also attached, I said animate joint, but I could animate joint relationships. This will be important later. And it should move the roller and the follower. So those two are locked into place. So we're good to go there. Hit escape. Uh, we're going to lock up the second one. Joint. Make sure we're still on slider. Grab the cylinder, grab this other cylinder, and I'm going to go ahead and change that one as well so I can rename it, right click on it, rename, left follower, enter, should be good, if I right click on that I should be able to animate joint relationship and it should be moving the uh, follower and the roller, to the whole, it doesn't look like I I'm going to botch that. I'm going to have to correct that. I'll correct that after the video. Hit escape. Stop it. So now we're going to, I put the axis, axle into everything. So I'm going to go back to joint. This one, I don't want to be a slider. I want to be able to have this revolute. So this will allow it to rotate. Positioning. Grab that axis and... Yeah, that, let's see how that looks. So it's going to say what position. I'm going to offset a little bit because I don't want it just hanging out. It's just right there. So I'm going to try at different values. I'm going to stick in one. All right, that's got it much closer. Let's stick with one inch. So that allowed it to push one inch through, have enough space for my crank, and that to hang out so that stuff isn't falling out. So we're going to hit that. So now that should be able to revolve. So I'm going to rename that as axle. Hit it. Uh, let's slap on our crank. Crank, I'm going to go back to rigid. Because I want the crank and the axle to be together. Back to position. Go up there. I'm going to try again. Let's see if that'll do it. Let's click OK. Hopefully it goes back to where it needs to be. All right. That's looking pretty reasonable. Let's go ahead with our, I'm going to rename this crank. I like to rename them once in a while so that I know what I'm dealing with. So I'm going to rotate the um, axle. And I'm going to do with animate joint relationship to make sure that my crank moves with it. All right, so this thing's rotating. That's rotating. And escape when you want to stop. Now I'm going to put the two cams on. This cam I'm going to place over here. Like here, I'm going to lock it on fixed. Cylinder, grab this, and at some point if you, I'm trying to get a distance to be able to line it up, and if it doesn't do it, I'll go back to motion here, and then it'll come up. So it's going to show me where it should be. Um, I'm going to say a negative three inches. It's not far enough. Oops, my negative ain't working good. I'm going to say a zero. Let's see what the zero is. Oh, let's just slide it. So if I line this up, 
You've got to line it up right underneath that roller. Like that. So that's a good placement for it. And we're going to grab our last cam. Hopefully it's out here somewhere. Here it is. We're going to also fix that. Verify we're in fixed. Grab the cylinder of this one. Cylinder of that one. It doesn't give you the X, Y over there, but over here. And let me just try and I'll slide it in a position. Back to the front. Make sure you're right up under those. Two two five. That's about where I want it. I'm gonna click OK. So those should be there. Now, as I rotate this axle assembly, and if I rotate it with uh, animate joint relationships, everything locked onto it, uh, my crank, my two cams, and my axle should rotate. All right, that's looking pretty promising. I want to escape. Now, the magic comes into whenever you go to assemble. You want to enable contact sets. That's going to allow it to slap stuff together, and that's where the real magic happens. And then under that, what you want to do is you want to uh, tangent relationship. This is where things are forced to touch together. So I'm going to go tangent relationship. I don't see where my thing is. Let's see if I can find it up there. Where's my roller? Roller's awfully high. Let's hit this one. So we'll hit tangent relationship on that surface, and I want it to touch this surface and hit OK. So now I'm hoping as I rotate, animate this, that that left follower goes up and down. So we're going to animate, joint relationships, follower going up and down. And let me see if I can fix this one real quick. Uh, all I can do is edit that joint. This one. Let's see if I can bring that down some. Let's see if I bring it to there, if that'll work out for me. Hopefully, I can see the follower. I can see the follower. Might be too much. Let's uh, edit that joint one more time, bring it up just a little bit. Edit joint. Set that. Oh, I'm in the wrong joint. My right follower, edit joint. So at negative two, let's go to negative one point five. Do it. All right. So now we're no longer touching. We're gonna go back to a symbol, change your relationship. Grab that follower. Grab the surface of the cam. Hit OK. Now everything will hopefully work out all right whenever I make this thing revolve. Hopefully we will see everything rotate and connection with stuff. So we have the short hex providing a little short galloping type motion and the pair cam a large motion there at the end. Everything's rotated, everything's attached. We have our constraints all across and there you go. Uh, good luck on your automatas. See you.